Welcome back to Engineering Stories, and today we're joined with my friend Helen, who is in her third year, Honors of Geological Sciences here at UBC. Today, we're going to be discussing the difference between a science and engineering undergraduate degree at UBC. And I just want to put a quick disclaimer before starting the video. Um, this is just both Helen and I's personal experiences. I've taken both science and engineering courses, and Helen is obviously in science and did her first year of generalized science, but obviously this is our unique opinions, our experiences, and what our friends have also had to say. You can do whatever your goal is in life, no matter what your degree is. So since engineering is a very technical degree, you do a lot of group work and a lot of hands-on work. It's an extremely challenging and rewarding degree because we don't spend all of our time looking at theory and memorizing things in a textbook. We'll spend a pretty short amount of time doing, you know, textbook readings, theory and things like that. And then we really get to dive in and use that knowledge to invent, be creative and work in a team to solve real world current solutions. For example, right now I'm in BMA 357, which is the third year biomedical engineering design course. And we actually have a real client that we are discussing with, and we have a real budget of $150. And we just have a team of six people, and we're working with this client to create a low cost autonomous microscope. One thing I love about engineering is that it's a very tight knit community. So, your entire degree, you will have a standard timetable. And so, what this is, is that there is um, a set kind of organization of classes that you have to take every single year. So when you go and you register for your classes, you will register in like standard timetable, the first year standard timetable number one. You press register and it registers you in like 11 classes all at once and it all fits together. So you don't really have to make too many decisions on what classes you're making. And it's also really fun because you go from class to class as a group. Um, so it's a little bit similar in high school in that way where I really felt like I had a community from the first day because we were um, most of us were going from class to class with each other. You can kind of talk about homework together, about your pros, do homework in between because you all have the same breaks. And yeah, it's really nice. To note though is as you do go up in the degree, the standard timetable, there's less and less courses included so you get more and more freedom. So engineering at UBC also has a co-op program. Um, engineering physics is the only program where you are automatically registered in the co-op program. All of the other ones you do have to apply to the program. So in engineering at UBC, we learn a lot about ethics and kind of social issues, social problems. We learn about English, so how to write memos, technical reports, and also your first year general English, like English 112. We also get to learn a bunch of different sciences. We take chemistry, you know, you can take biology, biochem, immunology, those science department courses, um, depending on what program you pursue in engineering. We also take a lot of physics and a lot of math and certain programs are very software heavy and in first year everyone takes a coding course. Since engineering is a technical degree, you are able to get a job straight out of your undergraduate. Um, it is not necessary to get a master's or a PhD or anything like that and this can be your, your long-term goal. For example, you can graduate um, your undergraduate degree and then you can work for Microsoft or you can work for stem cell for the rest of your life. This is obviously on a case-by-case -case basis and this is by no means guaranteed. Many engineering students go to pursue um, a master's or a PhD if they're interested in a topic and really want to dive and be an um, expert on that topic. And sometimes companies will require you to further your education whether you have an undergrad in engineering or not. Also, a lot of engineers will pursue medical school or law school. Um, so all of these routes are completely possible and you are not guaranteed a job with just your undergrad, but um, it is one of the undergraduate degrees that really prepares you to go and immediately work in your field. Hi, my name's Helen. I'm a third year geology student in the Faculty of Science at UBC, as well as part of the UBC Women Empowerment Club. And I'm the vice president of the Geoscience Undergraduate Club. The Faculty of Science offers almost up to 30 degrees covering a variety of topics from statistics to computer science to biochemistry to geophysics. And just like engineering, co-op is also an option if you want to find work during your undergraduate degree in your desired field. It's also important to note that some science degrees at UBC resemble engineering degrees more than others. 
So, for example, degrees like computer science or my degree, geology, have many learning objectives revolving around applications and collaborative work. But of course, science and engineering do differ, and the way they mainly differ is that science is a lot more theory-based, whereas engineering, like Hannah was just saying, is a more technical degree. Also, science degrees, especially in first year, are very customizable. So you'll be meeting a lot of different types of people, and you won't necessarily be moving as a cohort in between classes. Science is a really good opportunity for people who want to pursue grad school, um, a master's in science or a PhD in science, as well as people who want to pursue professional school like pharmacy, med school, law school, or dentistry. Thank you so much to Engineering Stories for having me on the channel and letting me talk about what it's like to be in science. If any of you have any questions about what it's like to be in first year science or have any questions about my degree in honors geology, please drop some comments down below and I will definitely respond. Thanks.